We have just arrived to a nunnery. This nunnery was built in the 14th century, but it's been rebuilt, so everything redone. Um, and yeah, excited because it'll be different from all the monasteries. We'll get a different perspective because this is where all the women are. Built in, uh, how to say, I can say, founded in 7th century by the Songzhen Gambo in 7th century. It's uh, one of the meditation place. We can say natural cave. He took some meditations in the 7th century here. Slowly, slowly in 13th century, 14th century and 20th century, difference of the master who has a knowledge about the Buddhism, they already made a meditation in here. Through this way, it becomes a very, very famous and especially handled by the nuns and uh, we can call this nunnery Tsengkung nunnery Tsengkung is means meditation cave and they have a similar like other monastery so many statue they are same like uh, monks who practice the Gilupa in Tibet especially in Lhasa most of the Yu region all the people they are practice the Giluba sect which is the founded by the Tsongkhapa so you can see all most of the master there wear the yellow hat in the shell similar they have a different of the uh, statue in here all those are the difference of the God and Buddhas and this one is the one of the greatest master from the Gilukba who is also a um, Lama from this nunnery so the Lama can teach for monks and nuns. It's not going to separate between them. They are for everyone. Lama means teacher or the master from the Buddhism religion and uh, for religious master. So that's why here Gebje Tijang Rinpoche, he is uh, one of the also master from this nunnery. And then you can see slowly, slowly the difference of this statue here, Buddha Shakyamuni again. And then you can see the difference of the very very precious uh, 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 stupa Seventh century, the King Songzheng Gambu he took a meditation in a cave. So that's the statue represent of the king, and actually he met a meditation down there. That's the part of the cave, and uh, you see the white scarf second round. That is a represent of his throne, or the where he crossing seat to meditation. <laughs> 
Okay, now what you can see is they are making the uh, things that they are going to put inside the prayer wheel. That is the scripture or the part of the mantra copy on the paper. They roll all this. Here is the beginning. They already printed in the paper. They cut it very small size. And then slowly, slowly, she roll that and fix it by the roll and uh, cover it by the red cloth to make like that to keep a very clean the scripture and slowly slowly they take all this and uh, once you want to build a new statue you can store all this scripture inside the uh, statue body and uh, also you can put those uh, inside the prayer wheel to make value for those wheel and the statue then you can speeding clockwise the prayer wheel represent you are chanting those mantra so we just came out of the nunnery it was so awesome like we actually got to go inside and film so i can actually show you what it looks like and it was so cool and then we walked into this really tiny cave that was beautiful and um, it's very similar to the monastery so I'm really happy that I could capture it because this is kind of what a lot of the monasteries looked at except um, this is for obviously the females because they're nuns and um, also I think really cool we got to see a bunch of them singing mantras and it was just so cool um, definitely a highlight <laughs> to a traditional Tibetan restaurant. <laughs> There's Jordan. <laughs> um, we have this amazing spread of food here. So this is smoked Chinese, uh, pork, and then they are a mix of Chinese and Tibetan. And this is Tibetan mushroom. And this is chicken and potato fried. This is uh, steamed Tibetan momo and then fried, half fried. This is Tibetan samba and then potato. watching this Tibet series. I hope you enjoyed all the content from our eight-day tour of Tibet. If you are interested to know how to travel Tibet, stay tuned for my two-part video series next week answering all your questions and concerns. See you then.